Hi, happy Halloween. This is Rudy. I pulled a couple LPs out of the vinyl vault for you. We've got uh, four Halloween themed selections. First one is a varied program of stereo dynamics to scare the hell out of your neighbors. Then we have shock music in hi-fi. Don't dare to listen to this music alone. Then we have chilling, thrilling sounds of the haunted house. And then we have Night in a Graveyard. The first one I'm going to start with, the Stereo Dynamics to Scare the Hell Out of Your Neighbors. Uh, I had high hopes for this one. Uh, the, uh, the skeletons hanging in the, in the gibbets uh, kind of gave it a, a spooky vibe that kind of attracted me to it. Um, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of Halloween-themed material on here or spooky for that matter. The first cut off this album is entitled Adolf Hitler, and it, it appears to be from a, a larger work, uh, but it, it's a, a classical styled piece with clips of people shouting Zeke Heil in it. And I do have to admit that that probably would scare the hell out of your neighbors if you were playing that uh, at all hours of the night. Here's a little clip of it. traditional sense of the genre, but certainly disturbing. Um, yeah, that, that's just very strange, and uh, I had to add that one to my collection. <clears throat> the rest of the cuts on here, we have Toccata in D minor, which is your fa fairly standard uh, Bach piece that you hear around Halloween, but everything else on here is a uh, there's a flamenco dance, and there's there's jazz ensembles on here, and it's just not anything that you would consider horror or spooky, or that you would con conceive that would be on an album that had a cover like this on it. But um, very unusual. Uh, I think you can pick this up for about ten bucks on eBay in pretty good condition if you were so inclined. The next record I have is Shock Music in Hi-Fi. Uh, this is another unusual one. Uh, it's, it's not your standard uh, sound effects or scary story album. It's, uh, each song on here is, uh, it's, it has sort of a narrative to it where it tells a little story, but it's sound effects mixed in with uh, sort of loungy, beatnik type of music, which fits in with, you know, the year in which this was made, I guess, but it, I've never really heard anything like this. It's kind of strange. This one is, uh, the, this cut is the crank. Uh, it says, at one time or another, almost everyone has been annoyed by a crank who telephones and then hangs up. Here is a classic version of the story. It's pretty good. It's pretty much just creepy heartbeat sounds. I guess there's a guy outside his window, according to the sleeve on this. There's a haunted house, it clocks. It's uh, it, it's not your your normal fare, but um, if you're into something unusual, th this is very uh, very worth picking up. Um, the prices on this I found were all over the place. I found a couple people trying to sell this new for two hundred bucks. Uh, Others, you know, 50, but uh, you should be able to get this around 20 bucks used if you, if you look around. The third album here I have is Chilling Thrilling Sounds of the Haunted House. This is released by Disney. A lot of people grew up on this. Uh, this was released a few years before the opening of the Haunted Mansion. Uh, a lot of the sound effects on here you can actually hear in the 
Haunted Mansion ride at Disneyland. Uh, a lot of the screams and the ghosts and the uh, the graveyard sounds on here. Uh, there's uh, three versions of this available. There's the white cover, which this one is, and then they have an, an orange one. And then there's a third one where the, the art here is blown up to take up the whole cover of the LP. And the back of that one, as opposed to this, has a nice art of a grave digger on the back, which is kind of cool. Uh, I've been wanting to pick that up, but I'm a little tapped for funds right now. Also, these came with a slip cover on the LP, which I don't have, uh, that had tips for having your own Halloween party and some such stuff on there. But uh, obviously those are the first thing to go, so it was a little harder to come by. In addition to the rather uh, standard collection of sound effects uh, that you'll find on a lot of these Halloween albums, uh, this has also uh, a series of cuts that are they sort of tell a story with the sound effects, kind of like the uh, the Shock and Hi-Fi album. Uh, they have this person who does a, a narration, and then from the sound effects that they have on here, they sort of tell a little story with them. You are a bold and courageous person, afraid of nothing. High on a hilltop near your home, there stands a dilapidated old mansion. And then they go through, and then there's the sound effects to sort of tell the story. This one's the graveyard, the haunted house. Particularly disturbing on here, there's a, a Chinese water torture one on here that uh, isn't completely politically correct, and that's slightly amusing. But, uh, yeah, this is, a, this is pretty much a staple. Uh, if you want to pick this up, this is about 10, 15 bucks in decent condition uh, on eBay. The last album in uh, this selection is the Night in a Graveyard. There's a couple different versions of this one too. Uh, there's the one version where it's just this graveyard background scene uh, with the ghosts. Um, this one they uh, had it, added this little happy little fellow in there. and. Uh, pasted this little faux sticker on there that shouts new. I don't ex know exactly what's new about it. Uh, it appears to be exactly the same as the other version, so I'm not exactly sure what they're touting there. Uh, they do warn you not to listen to this alone because it may be hazardous to your health. Parental guidance suggested. And it's made in Italy. It also claims to be recorded live on the estate of Count Dracula. Interesting. Uh, this, again, has your pretty standard set of uh, Halloween sound effects uh, on one side, and then on the uh, side A, it has them all sort of put together in the, what they call Night in a Graveyard, which uh, they really did slam all these sound effects together. Uh, a lot of these just don't belong. It's sort of a, you know, 10 pounds of mess in a, in a five pound bag type of situation going on there. Uh, there's just so much going on. There's wind, there's screaming, there's bubbling for some reason. And it's, it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, there's a heartbeat. And it goes on forever. They, it's just, not really scary, it's, it's kind of amusing. And I also would like to point out that a few of these sound effects seem to be the same that are on the Disney album that I just showed you. I don't know if those are just stock uh, sound effects, but I found that interesting as well. Well, uh, this uh, fairly common, I think I saw one for seven bucks, ten bucks. Um, it, it, it's fairly standard. I mean, you could pick it up for your collection. Uh, have a happy Halloween, and uh, be safe out there.